Hey guys, this is going to be my last book for you guys. It's called Sophia the First. Many of you have probably watched the shows. I'm going to read you the, the book about her. Now this is written by Catherine Hapka and is illustrated by Grace Lee. My name is Sophia. It used to be just me and my mom, but then my mom married King Roland. Now she's the queen of Enchantia, and I'm a princess. The trouble is, I don't really know anything about being a princess. I never had to do a royal wave. I'm not sure when to curtsy or even which fork to use at dinner. I'll never be as perfect as a princess as my new stepsister, Amber. Just be yourself and you'll be fine, Mom tells me. I'm not sure that will work. How can I be myself and be a princess at the same time? Then King Roland, um, I mean my new dad, tries to help. He, he, he gives me a beautiful necklace called the Amulet, called the Amulet of Avalo. Dad says it's a welcome to the family gift and that lots of princesses before me have worn it. Then he tells me we're having a royal ball in my honor. He says we'll dance the first waltz together. That's another thing I don't know how to, how, how to do. Dance. Maybe there will be a dance class at my new school, Royal Prep Academy. The head mistresses are three fairies named Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather. They promise to teach me everything about being a princess. Hooray! I do have have a dance class. Amber lends me a pair of special shoes. I think she's starting to like me. Oh no! Amber tricked me. These shoes aren't under a magic spell. The whole class laughs at me. But even worse, I still don't know how to do waltz. And the ball is tonight. Then I remember Cedric. The sorcerer at the castle. James, my stepbrother, says he has all sorts of magic spells. I ask Cedric to help me. He writes down some magic words. He says if I recite them at the ball, I'll be able to waltz like a real princess. All hail Princess Sophia, says Bailiwick as I enter the ballroom. Shall we dance, the king says. I recite Cedric's magic words, but I don't start to dance. Instead, Everyone at the ball falls asleep, even Cedric. Oh no, what have I done? Help, I cry. Suddenly my amulet glows and Cinderella appears. Your amulet brought me here, she tells me. When a princess is in trouble, another will come to help. Can you reverse the spell, Cinderella? No, I can't, but your new sister might be able to help. But Amber's been so mean to me, I say. Cinderella knows what it's like to have mean stepsisters. I wish I had given my stepsisters a second chance, she says. Perhaps that's what Amber needs. Then she disappears. Amber is still in her room. She never made it to the ball. She finally tells me why she's been acting so mean. I was worried that everyone would like you more than me, she says sadly. No one could ever be as perfect as you, Princess Amber. I tell her about Cedric's magic spell. We search his workshop, and I find a spell that will wake everyone up. We hurry to, to the ballroom as fast as we can. Wait, Amber says, I owe you a dance lesson. Now I know we're true sisters and ever after friends. When I get to the ballroom, I say the magic words, and everyone wakes up. Then the king and I begin to waltz. I look over at Amber and I smile. I can't believe how happy I am. I think I'm going to fit into this royal family after all. Sophia, my dad says, I'm so proud of you. You dance wonderfully. Thank you, your majesty, I mean, dad. You, you know, Sophia, being a princess is about having a good heart and you're going to make a great princess. Dad, I've been wondering, why do they call you King Roland II? Because my father was also named Roland? Yes, that's exactly right, Sophia. Well, I say, I guess that makes me Sophia the first after all as well. Am I, and I am one princess who can't wait to see what happens tomorrow and all the days happily ever after. I hope you guys like my final book. Thank you so much.